Hello, and welcome to another wonderful Wired Wednesday. My name is Ashley, and this is Android Devices and Operating System. The Android Operating System is a mobile operating system that was actually developed by Google. Originally, it was in touchscreen devices such as phones and tablets, but now they've actually um, gone off further. So now they're in televisions, they're in cars, wristwatches, and each has their own unique user interface as well. Android has evolved over the years, with the first system being introduced in 2008 as Android 1.0. It was only available on the HTC Dream smartphone. You could do all of the basic things with the operating system, such as use Gmail, Google Maps, YouTube, send text messages, and instant messages, and there's also a web browser. But the thing that set this operating system out from the rest was that there was an introduction of the Google Play Store, which is what it's called now, but at the time it was called Google Market. And they said that you could get dozens of apps at the time, which was pretty impressive. When you think about it now, there are thousands of apps that Google Play offers. So at the time, to have a dozen of them just to start off with was a great thing at the time. After that, Android operating systems were named after sweets and treats, such as Jelly Bean, Eclair, and Donut. In 2019, though, Android went through a rebranding. So they rebranded all of their colors and everything, uh, and they started going back to the original operating system, like Operating System 1, so now it's Operating System 10, and that was in 2019. So what they also introduced then was dark mode. So you'd have a dark screen with white letters. Um, before that, you could only have the, you know, the white screen with the black letters. So this gives you a bit of option as well. They also removed the navigation button and now relies on your hand gestures to do things on your screen. Users also have more say now over their app permissions as well. Android 11 was introduced in 2020 and brought changes to notifications where you can reply to someone right from the notification that comes up on your phone. So you can just hit reply there and reply instead of having to go into the application itself. When you press the power button, your credit cards will come up as well for you to pay with. So they have the Google Pay. Um, but what they've also done is they've also taken security to the next step. So if they ask you for your payment options and you can put it in one time, the next time it'll ask you to put it in again. So you're not always having your credit card come up every time. So your screen might look a little bit different than mine um, because of the apps that you have on here. So I'm just going to go through a couple of things. So you can see here, this is what your typical um, screen looks like in Android. So you can have whatever apps you have will be sitting here for you. You have your search bar down here, which you can use to search your apps. You can also use it to search Google as well. And then what I'm going to go into, I'm going to go into your settings here. So if you go to the gear, which is just down here for me, it might be a little bit different on your phone, just depending on what you have. I'm just going to show you how you know which operating system that you have. So if you go into your, you go into your settings and we're going to go down to your system. So it's down here to system. We're going to click on that. And then we're going to go into your advanced. So we're going to do this. And you're going to go down and you see where it says system update right there. And then it says what you have. So right now I'm on Android version 11. So it'll actually um, tell you what you have. So if you have questions about your phone, it's a good idea to know which uh, Android operating system you are operating with. So that's the best way to take a look. And then if you need to check for an update, you can do that as well. And then what I'm also going to do, I'm just going to go back and out of this. So when I was talking earlier about the gestures, so there's no actual back button on my phone anymore. So everything is done with your, with your fingers. So you can kind of flick things around and you can see, you can go back by using your fingers. You hit this little back button with your finger and that kind of thing. And then if you go into the Google Play Store, so I have my Play Store up here, or you can type Play Store in down there hit Play Store, and then you can go in and you can search for apps and so on and so forth. So if you go down here, there's games, there's apps. So when I was talking earlier about how there was a dozen apps, there's thousands of them now. So you can see here, there's all kinds of different apps that you can download. You can search for apps that you would like. So like, for example, like for the library, you'd search Libby and Libby's on there. And then you can install it and you can do that kind of thing as well. And then also, as usual, um, with the with these, because Google is the um, overseer, so to speak, you can also go into your different Google apps that you might have. So here you go. So we've got the we've got Google in general, Google One, if you have that as well, Google Pay, Google Fit. There's all kinds of Google apps on here. There's Google Maps. So I'm just going to type in Maps. You can see here there's Google Maps on my phone, which you can still go into and you can still use as well. And Gmail as well. So if you go down here, you can see here that I've got Gmail here, the Google Photos, and that kind of thing. So this is all part of the Android operating system. And for the last part of this video, I just wanted to show you some Android phones. 
Android phones vary because there's lots of companies that make phones that run the Android operating system. But what I've done here is I've gone to Consumer Reports, which you have access to with your library card through our virtual branch. I've done a video on Consumer Reports before, so I'm not going to go into how to get into Consumer Reports because you can go watch the video and then come back. Um, but what I've done is I've actually just filtered this by um, Android phones. So if you go down here, you can see you have your typical, your typical phones, and they vary in prices as well. There's all different price points for Android phones. So we have the Samsung, which is a typical um, Android phone. So you can see here they have prices for them. These prices on here are American, but the scores on here, you can read those. And a lot of um, cell phone carriers, you can get them for a certain amount of money per month. So you're not paying out the full price at one time. And there's the OnePlus 8 Pro. And what they're doing here is they're kind of going down from like the most, um, like the newest phone down to like ones that aren't so new, for example. But keep in mind that just because it's not a brand spank a new phone doesn't mean it doesn't work properly. Um, for example, I have the um, Google Pixel XL3 and now they're up to a five, but my phone works great. I got my phone like a year and a half ago now and it wasn't the newest phone then, but it was, a, it was brand new to me from, you know, from my carrier. So, it's a great phone. It works perfectly fine. You don't have to get the top of the line phone. You can have a great phone um, even so. And then you can also get ones that are kind of kind of bigger. So they kind of call them like kind of phablets now. So they're like their phone tablets because they're pretty some of them are pretty big. My phone is a it's a substantially big phone. But you can go through here and you can take a look and you can just see um, what it is. So as you can see, as you go down, they're getting a little bit cheaper here as well. So you don't have to have, you know, the top of the line phone to still have a great phone. Because as you can see, even the ones that are like, you know, $400, the, like the overall score is still 79. So like they're still like good. They're still good phones. And then you go down, they have LG phones. Google has their own phone as well. Sony still has phones. Motorola still making phones. So uh, my very first phone was a Motorola phone. So you can see here that it really does have all different price points. And then the great thing about Consumer Reports is that you can actually click on these and you can take a look at them as well. So the phones will vary in the sense that, you know, they might have some different, Samsung might offer some different apps and things on their phones. You know, Motorola might have some Motorola apps. Um, but other than that, the overall operating system is Android and they run very similarly. you can go in and get a full overview of these phones as well just by clicking on them. All right, and that's it for me. Have a great day.